Hello there, it's Mitch. Um, today's video is all about what do final year computer engineering students study. And if I can just unlock my laptop, I'll tell you all about it. Right, so I'm uh, in my final year of studying computer engineering at the University of Pretoria, and it's been pretty good so far. I've learned a lot of amazing knowledge that I'm keen to do some really cool stuff with in the workforce next year. And yeah, I wanted to go through today all of the modules and all of the things that we do as final year computer engineering students at Tux at the University of Pretoria. All the different modules we do, the kind of theory and content that we cover, and what the whole point of the computer engineering final year year is. Um, a lot of people always send me messages on Insta and that asking about the syllabus and that, and so let's go through it. The easiest way to go through the syllabus yourself is to go find the Tux yearbook and scroll through and see the descriptions of each subject. But I'll tell you now, in final year of computer engineering at Tux, we take a whole lot of modules, including EHN, which is e-business and network security. This module goes on in depth about cryptographic algorithms, uh, secure communication and user authentication. Basically the whole module is about security and using cryptographic hashing functions and uh, cryptographic ciphers to encrypt sensitive information. We do ESP, which is basically DSP programming. It involves Fourier transforms, modulation, demodulation, digital signals, and digital filtering. And basically how to use um, digital circuit boards. I think that's what DSP stands for. Ah, you can see it's been a long semester. Using DSP boards to accomplish all of these um, really important mathematical filtering goals and uh, using electronics and embedded hardware to do a whole lot of really important mathematics to do with signals. We do EAS, which is computer architecture and systems, basically going down to the low level of how computer hardware works, uh, looking at each individual computer components, uh, underlying low level firmware, um, think about things like how to build an assembler, how to design a cache, a memory, a CPU, and how those um, different parts of the computer work together with the low-level hardware and firmware to actually do the amazing functions that computers do nowadays. We do ERP, which is a research project, and basically goes into depth about how to do report writing and um, basically do some investigation into a really complicated mathematical problem. Our problem that I remember last year was orientation estimation using like a gyroscope and a magneto, magnetometer and accelerometer, but it changes year to year. We do EPY, which is a vacation work and a vacation work exposure module, I guess. Basically, it's not actually a module. We just have to do some vacation work throughout the year and then write up a little bit of uh, a write-up about the occupational health and safety things we learned at the company and what we learned during our time there. We take uh, IPI, which is an engineering professionalism course, basically just um, highlighting all the ways that the Engineering Council of South Africa is dope and that en and why engineers and we as candidate engineers um, should look to join the organization and you know further its goals of professionalism and like standards for engineering activities. We do a Cisco certification course, EIW, at the start of the year. It's not really part of the syllabus, it's like an external course, but we have to do it as part of the final year syllabus. And then the main big bad boy module for final year computer engineering is EPR or project. This is taking a complete engineering project right from the design phase to the implementation testing and reporting phase and basically the whole year you spend working on this monstrous 64 credit module. Um, you get a problem uh, that you get at the beginning of the year and then you have to implement a solution, an engineering problem right towards the end of the year and then you report on it, do a big presentation on it and it's what I'm currently spending a lot of my waking hours on. But uh, I'll talk in depth about that module a bit later. So yeah, those are the modules that we do in finding your computer engineering. If you want to go and look at in depth in the theory that takes place in each module, you can go look at the yearbook. Uh, you can see here on the side of the screen, basically all the in depth um, breakdown of the subject matter in each uh, module. But what's important to note is that most of the final year computer engineering effort actually goes into working on practicals. As in most of the engineering courses, your actual theory and that is complicated and difficult, but what you spend most of your time on is the practical work. And the practical work is what indeed I have suffered with the most the past couple of years and what I've spent the most amount of time on. So in final year with these modules that I've just mentioned, um, in EAS, we do a practical on CPU design, we do a practical on cache design and implementation in hardware using an Axie bridge and an HPS platform, basically using an embedded platform to design and build some of those low-level computer architecture systems and computer components that I mentioned earlier. The practicals for ESP include um, performing the fast Fourier transform on a DSP 
constructing a digital filter on a DSP as well as building a digital AM demodulator on a DSP. Basically, um, learning how to do all these in-depth mathematical filtering operations as well as all the mathematics behind them on an embedded platform like a DSP board. Uh, I don't have my DSP board here, but here's a picture of it just so that you can see what I'm talking about. In EHN, the practicals all revolve around um, creating and constructing all of the different encryption ciphers and decryption uh, algorithms. So this is things like implementing the Playfair, Hill, road transposition ciphers, working with symmetrical ciphers such as the triple DES and advanced encryption standards, uh, implementing from scratch the RIVES cipher 4, RSA, RC4 and SHA-512 algorithms. These are industry standards that are used by you know everyone, all the biggest companies in the world and all the biggest technologies in the world to actually ensure that security um, occurs between communications when they should. And so implementing those ciphers and those security algorithms from first principles was really interesting and that's what all the practicals in EHN revolved around. For ERP, the research project, the practicals um, revolved around uh, basically doing a whole lot of research assignments and uh, an, a specific engineering problem uh, in the context of the report writing and research um, guidelines that were taught in the module. Uh, when I did it, because it, I did it last year, um, it was orientation estimation using a gyroscope, magnetometer, and accelerometer, and then just writing up a whole lot of uh, information and experiments about sensor fusion, um, orientation estimation, and like some of the statistical tools we use to measure the accuracy of that orientation estimation. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Um, not my most favorite module, but those are all the practicals that we did. IPR didn't really have practicals, and um, the EPR project is just one giant practical for the whole year, so it doesn't break down into individual subtasks as much. Now, if you'd ask me my opinion on the final year syllabus, I say it's pretty balanced between doing some of the complicated mathematical stuff in ESP and the low level hardware in EAS for computer architecture, right up to the really high level software stuff in EHN where you focus on doing just software algorithms and you don't touch hardware at all in the, in the, the subject. Um, the main focus for final year is projects and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit now but the module uh, mix overall in final year has been good. I feel like it's been a pretty good um, well-rounding uh, syllabus for computer engineering, touching on the hardware, the software, the practical implementations. It's been good so far and I've enjoyed it. Um, in particular, my thoughts about individual modules, EAS, the computer architecture module, was good and fun and not overly difficult. The practicals took some getting used to and just uh, working with the specific board they wanted us to use was tough. Um, ESP, the digital signal, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> digital signals or DSP programming module, that was hard. The practice were um, difficult to get right merely because the board we used uh, was just so difficult to integrate with and getting with just uh, the IDE working on the computer was such a bitch. Um, yeah, no, not a fun module just because of the mathematical underpinnings of the subjects. Getting the digital filters working and getting the um, demodulator working with like, you know, hardware like building analog filters and analog circuitry, that's a monster. Uh, and yeah, I didn't enjoy those practicals so much. But the theory uh, in class and that was good and I enjoyed the module and yeah, really cool to see all the um, nasty mathematics that we did in second year and that actually being used to use, to do some practical filtering and practical cleaning up of noise and practical useful real world applications uh, in using electronics using that like really difficult underlying Fourier transforms and uh, Fourier mathematics integration all that shit and so really coming together it was a cool module to see that. EHN uh, cryptography module was good. The cryptography algorithms were interesting to implement and really cool when you got them right and you got it like scrambling images and that on your computer from first principles. Uh, the tests weren't great because they were marked uh, like it was kind of we wrote them on the computers and that and it's kind of all or nothing for your marks. Uh, for a subject, we, we, the tests, the semester tests in the exam, we basically wrote out um, all, all, a whole lot of the different cryptography algorithms and then you had to take in some input and put, give out some output in different, in different manners and different ways. The ciphers were permuted, um, but it's very much an all or nothing. Uh, you have to get your code exactly right and you need to get your cipher outputting exactly the right output else you're going to get zero for like a 40 mark question. So getting the tests right for that subject was quite difficult actually. Um, ERP was kind of hard, just a mathematical slog, and I had to redo a whole lot of the assignments because the uh, exagraduate attributes that the module contained and the, that the module worked towards fulfilling um, had to be fulfilled in all the practicals, so that was quite tough. IPI was easy because it's basically just a, a module going on about why you should actually join the Engineering Council of South Africa. So theory was easy and it was uh, quite enjoyable and <laughs> I think I spent like one day on the exam assignment and that was like the most work I did for that module and I got an A for it. 
Um, I also did it last year. Project uh, obviously is the hardest thing that we're doing this year and it's so far been quite enjoyable. It's been my favorite module actually, just because it's your own project. It's your own thing that you're working on for the whole year. It's very flexible. You work on it when you want to, um, or you have to do those certain amount of hours in the lab every week, but it's been fun so far. And I really enjoyed working on a big engineering problem and writing up uh, lab book entries about it and giving presentations on my project. It's been fun so far. Um, but let me talk a bit about project now. So the whole um, point of the final year project is basically a culmination of the degree's work. Uh, completing a huge design and development project of a hardware and software system from scratch on your own from first principles uh, to address a given problem. And so the problems are wide ranging, some of them are more hardware based, some of them are more software based like my own project. My project is um, gesture control of an object in augmented reality. Other projects include autonomous cube stacking robots, communication over uh, light waves, lang uh, sign language recognition systems, bartending robots, uh, some very heavy power based systems uh, like using different mathematical approaches to designing antennas, all sorts of different uh, projects that touch on the various different parts that computer engineering involve, uh, is involved with. The electrical, um, the electrical and electronic engineers also do final year projects, so you can see the scope of the project kind of changes depending on what you're studying. But yeah, the project is, is really interesting so far. It's a 64 credit module, so it's fucking massive. But it's been really enjoyable so far to work on that project by myself, uh, get some really cool things working. My little prototype that I've got working, uh, I don't think I've put it on the channel before, but I'll put a video of it here. My prototype that I've got working using like existing pre, uh, pre-existing components and that from, not from first principles uh, off the internet and that is really cool and it's cool to see where the project's gonna go by the end of the year. And yeah, project has been enjoyable so far. It's going to get difficult now in second semester because I'm halfway through the, the year now. Um, I just have project left and a third year module that I'm repeating at the end of this year. And so I feel like I've got a pretty good uh, grasp of what the module entails and what all of the degree has actually entailed now. But now I just need to put it together and finish project. And I'm sure project is going to be tough now in second semester as it comes to uh, the culmination of the entire degree. And you know, really need to get this project working, give presentations on it and explain my reasoning behind all my first principles implementations of the different parts of the project. It's going to be tough, but it's been enjoyable so far and it's really nice to see, as I said earlier, all the hard mathematical stuff that you've done in your degree actually being used to uh, like achieve a real world goal and achieve, uh, build a real world system. And so that's really nice and it's probably why so many guys enjoy project even though it's so difficult. And yeah, that is basically a summary of what final year computer engineering students at Tux study and what we spend our time on. Uh, we spend most of the time uh, in first semester working on practicals as we do throughout most of the degree, uh, touching on different aspects of the computer engineering ecosystem, whether it's like very hardware based with EAS and computer architecture or very software based with EHN and um, cryptography algorithms. Obviously the whole year is spent on working on EPR, the final year project, and that's like basically the culmination of your degree, building this really amazing, amazing engineering system from the ground up, from first principles. But yeah, if you look at the yearbook, the Tux yearbook, you can see exactly what, the exact breakdown of what each module contains and what the final year computer engineering students study. Uh, you can also look at this diagram here, it basically shows the progression as you go throughout the degree of which modules you need to take in each year, this year being the final year, these are the modules you have to take. And yeah, don't let the uh, lack of modules in the last semester there fool you. The work on project is uh, immense and so you need to spend every waking hour working on it. But yeah, that is basically what final year computer engineering students study. Hope you've uh, enjoyed it. And if you want to see more about what computer engineering students spend their lives doing, just go back and watch the last 300 videos on this channel. It's all I've been doing for the last five years. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to come to the end of it in the next couple of months and make lots of videos about my project. I've been watching some videos from Simon Clark recently. He's a UK YouTuber who did a PhD in atmospheric physics. And uh, I'd like to think uh, in the couple, next couple of months, I'd like to make a, a few videos similar to his about his PhD, where he talks about um, the challenges he was facing, the implementation uh, of coding algorithms and that that he worked on for his PhD analysis. And so, yeah, if you're keen to see some of that, subscribe and uh, hang around. There's going to be some cool stuff coming out in the next few months. But thanks for watching. If you're a prospective student, good luck for the long journey ahead. I hope it goes well for you. Engineering has been a very, very difficult ride, but I think coming to the end of it now, I can uh, definitely say it's worth it. I'm going to make a whole video at the end of the year and at the end of my degree, basically. Um, 
addressing whether or not engineering and university was worth it, but spoiler right here, it was, and I'm really excited to get out into the real world and do some amazing things with my degree. But yeah, that's what final year computer engineering students study. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot, eh? Bye.